four years ago, we decided to revamp and retool the Los Angeles Latino Chamber of Commerce to be a chamber that really meets the needs of our membership. With over 600 members and 14,000 subscribers, we had to come up with a plan on how we were going to meet the needs of our membership. Los Angeles Latino Chamber of Commerce pivoted a couple years ago. We went from in-person events to more training. And what was really key is that, as our chairman said, we really listened to the small businesses and we saw that there was a huge need. So going from traditional in-person events to online webinars, to which by the way, we still hold, are very vital because we provide resources, training, a Night in Havana is an event where we acknowledge our Elevate Together recipients. We acknowledge our supporters, our sponsors, and acknowledge our small businesses who won a grant. That grant is really meant to help scale the business and show appreciation for what they are doing in the community is really important and vital. Everything that the LALCC does is very intentional. We listen very closely to what our members say and based on their feedback is how we create our programs. Our programs for webinars, our faces of resilience, and most importantly, you know, based on the needs, we found it very important to create the pillars that our organization abides by, which is programs, policy, partnerships, and procurement. On behalf of the Los Angeles Latino Chamber of Commerce, our board members, our corporate advisory board members, I want to thank the California Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and your nomination committee. We are very humbled to accept this honor of Chamber of the Year.